Okay. My finger. <laughs> Here's the other thing that when I was a kid, when I came to baseball or came to golf, I used to drive, ride my bike from baseball, on baseball practice past this little nine hole golf course. And I'd stop because they had the best chocolate donuts and milkshakes in the world. And they had a pinball machine. Now, you guys are probably not even old enough for pinball machines. Okay, well, the pinball machine was a baseball pinball machine. And so the flippers were bats. So I'd go in there, milkshake, chocolate donut, and play this goddamn pinball machine. All right, well, here's what I started to relate golf as. See, when I came to golf and I set the club down, this, this, this is not the bat. This isn't the bat. There's the handle of the bat, and there's the, there's the, the, the end of the bat. So there's the bat. This is an extension of my left arm. So what you guys are trying to do is you're trying to hit it with the bat. Wrong bat. Which is another reason why you're late. Because if I stood here and tried to hit it with this, see, I'd be like that. But what I'm doing, I look down at that ball, see that club face, the club face is the bat. So depending on what field I want to hit it to, de de depending on what field I want to hit it to, so right field, center field, left field. I mean, that's all I really knew when I started. But I saw this is the bat. I guarantee you guys aren't looking at this. No, I swing You're swinging it. this. This isn't the bat. This is an extension of your left arm. There's the bat. Does that make sense? Because this is, those are the two biggest differences, is where the bat, where the bat pivots. You're, you're here to hit a ball out in front of you. Yeah. And then this is the bat, so you're having to make that bat work, not this one. If you're trying to make this one work, you're always going to be late with the face. Does that, does that make sense? Okay, so I want you to sit up there. I'm picking on you only because... <laughs> All right, so look down at the ball and hit it to left field. Okay. Homer. All right, take another one. Okay, hit this one to right field. Look at the bat. It's the face. It's not the club. The f yeah, exactly. There you go. Hit it to right field. You freaking kidding me? No one's ever told me that this hit it is the bat. Hit it to center field. <laughs> That's no, it's not. It's, it's actually, you guys are so freaking good with your hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, you see, I get goosebumps watching this because you guys are so, you're just looking at the wrong thing. I mean, it, it, it matters where you put your grip. Yes. However, you guys are so good with your hands. Once you put your hands, if you know what you're trying to manipulate, you can make it do whatever you want it to do. Now, my question, like to you, how many times have you looked at it that way and practiced Never. that? Never. That's what every player that's any good does. That's all they do. They're so good with that face. See, the club face is the bat. What do you control the face with? Your hands. hands. I'm going to show you something with that in just a minute. And once you guys understand that, you understand the pivot point and how your hands are making the face work, so you can stand here and practice, and all of a sudden, what shot you want me to hit? Now, I'll guarantee if somebody in the past told you to hit a draw or a fade, that's not how they told you to do it. Line my feet up. Well, it's just crazy. You hit the ball with the face. It's all about the face. If they told me to hit it to right field by where I put my feet and base, you'd go, time out. No, no, it's where the bat hits the ball. Mm -hmm. True. That's very true. I mean, now, you can, you can make cases for if you get set up certain ways, it does certain things yeah. to your pivot and all that. But the reality is it's the bat hitting the ball that makes the ball go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you've got to start with an understanding of what's making the ball go. And you guys, I guarantee you, when you take a hold of a golf club, you're feeling the shaft is the bat. It isn't. It's an extension of your left arm. So it's just an extension of your left arm. And then the, the face is the bat. So you got to start looking at it from that perspective. And all three of you, if that's all you did and you went out and practiced, you're going to get significantly better because you had no idea the face was even involved, which, which I find unbelievably confusing. Because <laughs> if you don't know what the face is doing and what controls it or where the bat is, how are you ever going to get any good with it? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, well, I want you guys to do the same thing. Step up right here. I want to see you do it. 
Yeah, come, you can all do it. One at a time here. Yeah, go ahead. It just felt approaching the ball oh, no, different, just, too. Just aim it like... down the fairway. Okay, so once you put your hands on that thing, that's the bat. So there's right field, there's center field, there's left field. Right. Okay? So hit one to left field. I don't care how much, just hit it to left field. Perfect. Now, this is, what, this is how the tour guys practice. Really? Now, exactly. What they're doing, though, see, they're really good with their angle of approach. So if you stand behind a tour player, the ball starts on the same line all the time. But if you watch it, it goes out there, and then it'll fall to the left, and it'll fall to the right, and it'll go straight. So they're so good at what you're doing here, they can control that face by just a couple of degrees. We well, start by curving it big to learn how to curve it small because you got to, it won't take you guys long because you're so good with your hands. That's crazy. That was incredible. I never like felt. Okay, hit it to right field. I can't get really good at the hitting it to right field one on the court. I could just slice one of the best ones. Okay. Hit it to center field. It just felt different. I almost felt like I had to follow the. I mean, are you kidding me? Show off. No, it's, it's a stationary. Oh, my, my grip, the grip. Well, it's, it's all. We're going to talk about grip in a minute. Put one for you. Go you for know, it. No, no, no. I want you guys to see, because this is what I'm, what I'm talking about. This is why good athletes come to this game and they get screwed up. Because they start focusing on the wrong things. What your left arm's doing, how your hips are turning, upright, flat, cross the line, laid off. Well, okay, some of that makes sense. But most of you guys that play sports with your hands, if I tell you what to do with your hands, you get good and it's unlikely your body's going to move in a manner that's going to get in the way of what you got to do with your hands. It, it just, so all this, a lot of stuff you think about when to pivot, how to shift your weight, are you, wait a minute, you thinking about that when you hit a fastball? Okay, so why are you thinking about it up here? You already have the instinct to go. And we'll talk about more about baseball and, and what I've seen happen with golf where they're getting more like baseball. You know, baseball's always been kind of what it is, but I think baseball really should have driven the golf swing rather than golf, you know, they're trying to figure out, well, no, no, baseball swings, how you, your transition, how you change directions and how your lower body works and what this leg does and how you accelerate the bat is exactly what you do to accelerate a golf club. They're all the same because forces and bodies, it doesn't matter what sport you're playing, they all move the same. I mean, there isn't any difference. Your body doesn't know whether you're playing baseball, tennis, basketball. It just knows patterns. All right, come on, yeah, come on up here. Let's see you do it. How'd that feel? Good. Makes sense. I never thought about it that way. Okay, yeah. so here's the face. Like, oh, I pushed that one so there's yeah. left field. There's right field. It was field. weird. I felt like I had to like almost field. follow. The head so of the hit club. one to left field. Come like hit it hard to make sure. Just make the bat hit it to left field. <laughs> you know. See, now here's the, here's the issue, you guys. I teach all day long. I do tour players. The average person, they have minimal hand-eye coordination. What you guys are doing here sometimes takes people a couple of weeks of a lot of practice to be able to start controlling where the ball goes because they don't really have any control of their hands. It's, it, as soon as they can't see their hands, they don't know what they're doing. You guys are so good with your hands, it's just triggering them. Right field. Okay, it's all right. Right. That, that doesn't matter. The face was now try to hit it center. No, that's all right. Try to hit center field. Okay, so you turn the bat over a little too much. You left center, right? Left center, correct. <laughs> we'll give you one more try at center field. What are you hitting? Right. We should document that. There it is. I'm using an eight iron. Have now, feel the oh, yeah, where the where the degrees. where the face is. Yeah. Okay, now here's. Like a fork to close, cause that's what you were taught. That's what golf was taught. You're supposed to. Well, I, I, I mean, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, that already makes a lot of sense thinking about this as a bat. But I feel like the biggest difference between what I perceive golf and baseball, because I understand baseball is baseball. We're always taught to hit the inside part of the ball, yeah. whether we're hitting it to left field or right field, and that's why the that's why the knob of the bat usually gets out in front. That's why our yeah. barrel trails, because we're taught to stay inside. Is that different right. than the golf swing? Same thing. 
we all, every single tour player hits the inside of the ball. Whether they fade it, draw it, they all hit the inside of the ball. Uh, so that's so, why we, this should be a little bit easier for us yeah. to pick up because it's not well, a plus, whole lot different. Yeah, and your hands don't go, in baseball, your hands don't go at the ball. Yeah. They swing inside the ball to get the handle in here so you can get the bat on the ball. Well, when I hit a golf ball, my hands swing inside the ball to get the bat on the ball, but I'm still hitting the inside of the ball. Okay, so I'm going to start my backswing. You can call any shot you want. When I start it, you can say high, low, hook, fade, I don't care. When I start my backswing. You ready? <coughs> ready? Low. I mean, when you think about it, you got another one? Yep. That's yeah, pretty straight. Okay, but Goodness. here's the deal. When Goodness. you, Goodness, yeah. when you <laughs> think okay. about it, I'm sitting there holding this club and I start back and you say, high, low, hook, fade. I've got all this time and all I've got to do is move that face a few degrees. How easy is that? The ball's not moving. Mm. So if you tie into your hands, you guys will get really good fast. Subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.